What is up guys? It is Jake here again and today we're going to be playing as Scion in the top lane who is actually Hench as a mofo and we're gonna go ahead and start with a Doran shield, a health potion and a warding term here and head off in to the top lane which is obviously where we are going to be. One thing to mention is I haven't actually played Scion as of yet. This is just after patch 4.18 was implemented. I think it was yesterday. I'm not sure because I wasn't actually playing yesterday but it hasn't been for very long um, and uh, yeah I've been really excited I guess or um, really looking forward to seeing how Cyan has been reworked. I know his abilities somewhat. Um, I did see the champion spotlight so I kind of know what's happening. Uh, I have an idea of what to max and what to build and such and I think I'm going to be going tanky. Uh, pretty full tank. I'm not too sure yet. Obviously I may deviate from that build depending on how well we do or what the team sort of builds or what sort of happens. I'm not really too sure as of yet but Whatever happens, we're going to go ahead and see how well we do here. To go through the teams, obviously myself as Scion in the top lane, we have a Lissandra middle, a Jarvan in the jungle with a Janna Lucian on the bottom. And they are running with an Aatrox in the top. They have a Diana middle, a Vi jungle and Leona Ash in the bot lane. So, uh, most, most probably. Uh, so, yeah. So Jarvan's then asking me that. I think that's because Jarvan is sort of determining herself, or himself rather, um, whether to go tanky or not. Because obviously we do have two champions that can, I think, be built either tanky or not tanky. But I guess we'll see. Again, I'm going to determine that depending on how well I do. I think my first item, regardless, considering that I'm against an Aatrox, will be a Sunfire Cape. But again, we will obviously see. So we're going to go ahead and just walk off into the top lane here. Aatrox is not yet in the lane, so I think he might be helping Vi at the blue buff. At least I can only assume that's the reason. I haven't yet took an ability, as you can see. Uh, I'm actually going to take a point in my W, uh, considering that I now am going to be starting to get a little bit of health, um, or max health, that is. And I'm going to start sort of... I guess stacking that slightly, especially considering that Aatrox is not here. I'm going to go ahead and ping that he is missing still. I'm not sure as to where he is exactly. Um, where is Aatrox? Okay, so this is not very good. I'm level 2 and Aatrox is not in the game yet, it seems. Oh, there he is. Okay, he's level 2 as well. And he's got red buff. Um, okay, so that's very bad for me. I'm not really too sure as to exactly what happened there. Oh, he took our red buff. What a legend. Okay, so he's going to go ahead and just use his Q away there. We're going to take off so much damage. He doesn't yet have his passive up. I think, it, actually, the red buff must have killed him. What? The red buff must have propped his passive. It must have, because he doesn't have it up. There we go. We're going to go ahead and just push him out a little bit there. Going to get this one here. I'm not really too sure as to where Vi is. I'm going to go ahead and put down a ward in this bush. At the moment, doing pretty well. Compared to him, I guess. And unfortunately, I took a tower hit there, which is obviously not the best thing in the world. Unfortunately, Aatrox obviously does have... Um, and unfortunately, I've got no mana. Um, so that's not the best thing in the world. And he can constantly get his health back. This is going to be very bad for me now. I've kind of run out of mana trying to kill him here, which is... Never a good thing, and unfortunately it does mean that he's kind of going to be able to have free reign now, and he's going to get his health back. Also, he does have red buff, which I guess is helping him somewhat. He has a minute or so left of that, so you have to be a little bit careful here. Oops. Oops, I'm so dead. Um... There's nothing that I can do here. I'm going to go ahead and potentially try and kill him. Kill him, please. Oh, my God. He jumped and I killed him. <laughs> he jumped and I killed him. So that red buff, I guess, played a part in that. I'm not too sure exactly as to how much it did. But saying that, um, I guess we both did pretty well in that exchange. It was a one-for-one -one exchange because of my passive. I'm going to go ahead and teleport back into pop lane because there's so many creeps here. I'm going to go ahead and use that on that creep and miss because, you know, I'm good like that. And it's going to go ahead and stop this from pushing slightly here. Hopefully I can get most of these. Don't go in the turret. Oh my god, I got it. Sweet. 
And I'm going to go ahead and ping that he is actually missing here. I'm not too sure as to what he's doing. Obviously, he's not teleporting back into lane here. And the lane is actually in my favor. So this is going to be a bonus here. I'm stacking up my health nicely here. I've got 1,000 damage already at plus 70 on my W, which is always a bonus here. And he is now back into lane. Aatrox does obviously have his ultimate still. Gonna go ahead and do that. Just keep it off the turret here. And Jarvan is now coming top, apparently. He does have a Vampire Acceptor now, speaking about Aatrox here. And that obviously will give him an even more sustain compared to what he already had, which is absolutely ridiculous. But saying that, it is now pushed in my favour still. And I can just kind of AFK farm this. I am ahead of Aatrox in the farming department by quite a lot here. I didn't actually get my ultimate then, so unfortunately I wasn't able to use my ultimate, but well played there to Jarvan. Really, really well played. In fact, he came at the perfect time here. And again, I'm only just at level 6, but I accidentally leveled up my E there. So I now have two points in my E and, um, and no points in my ultimate. But I guess we'll get that just at level 7 here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, just hold this here. Considering that he does still have his teleport, so there really is no point in pushing. I guess he would bring that out, but I want to stay in lane a little bit here. There's not really much that I can buy at the moment, so I guess I could get a Giant's Belt. But that's not really the best thing in the world. Two and one now, though. I'm not doing too bad at all. We are actually the only people to die or get kills in the game. No one else has actually done anything. It's kind of a stalemate in every other lane, so I guess that's a bonus. Jarvan obviously has the assist, though. I'm going to go ahead and do this. I could kill her. I could kill her so easily. Um, this is dangerous. I want to kill her so much. She's actually going to go ahead and use her cure away though. So that's a bonus. There we go. Just going to go ahead and put down a little bit of damage here. Not doing too bad at all. That should now push the turret here. And he is now level 6. So we're going to have to be a little bit careful here. I don't have too much mana. I'm actually going to go ahead and head back here. And uh, I guess I'm probably going to lose a little bit of CS here. Actually, no. I'm going to stay in lane. Uh, just because he's pushing so hard. I'm perfectly fine with staying in lane. There's not really much that he can do here. I have too much armor for him really to do much damage. So I'm just going to go ahead and stack health here. Whilst he's waiting. And he's not really doing much here. I'm going to go ahead and dance like this. This is going to come on to Tori. I should be able to get most of these, if not all of them, hopefully. And I didn't, unfortunately. I got most of them, though. So I'm going to go ahead and go back here and just push this up. I'm not doing too badly at all. There you go. Just going to go ahead and hit him on the face there. He is, fortunately, going to miss that little knock up there. He's going to hit his E, though. I'm not sure as to what he's maxing, so... A little bit unfortunate here. And yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and wait like this. There we go. I'm actually going to go ahead and go back now. I'm definitely going to go back now. I do have my teleport back up so I can get straight back into lane once I come back here. Yeah, I'm going to get this. Gonna get this and teleport straight back into top tower here. So really, really well played there. I did kind of hold that lane. Unfortunately, I think I'm gonna miss that. Yes, I am. And I'm gonna hit that one. Well played to me. Well played to me again. Whoop whoop. This farming of the turret is way, way too strong. I'm gonna go ahead and ping that Aatrox is missing. I'm not sure as to whether he's gone back or not, but I'm actually gonna push this lane up just in case. There we go. And hopefully I'll kill these. I'm not too sure whether that will actually be the case. No, kill it! There we go, sweet. That will now come back up to lane. I've got kind of everything now. There's not really much that he can do here. There you go. He did actually just get took off so much damage. Really not sure as to what that is, but I don't have a clue. Took off so much damage there. And unfortunately, I missed. It is very easy to sidestep that. I will say that. It's so, so easy. Just going to go ahead and uh, do this. Okay, so he's going to go ahead and pop that off. No! No, he hit me! He hit me with it! 
There you go, I took off his passive anyway, that's all I wanted to do. He hit me with the E, meaning that my shield actually was, was broken before I could flash and W. Um, all I really wanted to do was pop his uh, thingy anyway, which is what I did then, so that's a bonus, I guess. Yeah, that's unfortunate, so I really do need to actually get some mana back. I think I'm going to get some mana potions on the next back because I'm kind of dying a little bit here. I have no mana at all, and he heals so much, so, so hard here, I need to get some mana back really, really fast, I don't really have anything, that's one thing to say about Sion, he, he's so, it uses so much mana, like absolutely ridiculous amounts of mana, unfortunately I didn't actually land the stun there, but it doesn't really matter, unfortunately I'm also going to miss that as well, this inbuilt crap is so annoying. I should be able to get most of these. I'm going to lose that. Oh, no, I'm not. Sweet. There we go. Not doing too bad at all. Again, though, my mana is very, very low. I don't have any mana at all, but we're going to have to be very, very careful here. It seems I'm kind of dead. Come here. So weak. When Jarvan pings to come, he needs to come straight away rather than actually taking the, the, the wave. It's that simple. Um, Aatrox is kind of... Um, he has too much sustain. I cannot do anything. Free harass. It is that simple. It is kind of free harass. Granted, I'm not. It's not that simple. Ash is winning that lane somehow. I have absolutely no idea as to how that is happening, but Ash... It's actually picked up a kill there in that bot lane, so that's a little bit unfortunate. I'm actually going to get some of these, despite the fact... Actually, not... Oh, crap. I shouldn't have got that, but it uh, doesn't really matter here. It will kind of, I guess, get rid of that slow a lot faster. Who is in their mid lane as well? Diana. So that's a little bit unfortunate, I guess. It looks like Lissandra is not really struggling somewhat, but not really doing too well. She's taking off quite a lot of damage, though, but unfortunately in this top lane, 2 and 2 now. Aatrox does have 2 and 2 as well. He's got a build water. We have very similar farm. But again, it's gotten to the point where I run out of mana very, very quickly. I really just need to stop harassing him. There's kind of no kill potential for me whatsoever in this lane. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and keep farming up here. I do have 216 current bonus health there from my W. And Lissandra has been killed with Leona's help, apparently. I'm not too sure as to why Leona is in the mid lane. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, just uh, farm up here, I guess. And just keep farming up here. He is pushing the wave very, very fast. And he's not going to be able to get that. So that's a bonus. And I'm just going to go ahead and do this. There we go. Also going to get these. There's not really much that he can do to stop me from farming. So that's a bonus, I guess. I don't really have too much mana, though. Vi is on killing spree now, which is never a good thing. And Janna is getting caught here, which is really, really poor, I guess. I'm not really too sure exactly as to what's happening here. Gonna put down a little bit of damage there. And Vi has now picked up a double kill. I'm gonna go ahead and just pick this up. She's picked up a triple kill. It's absolutely ludicrous here. They do need to start kind of fixing up a little bit if they want to win this game. It is that simple. What the flip? Why? What was that? What was that? Mate! I plainly didn't I did not do that. That's all I'm saying. I did not do that. That's really, really annoying. I was I was holding my cursor here, and I pressed R, and for some reason I decided to go in the roof, and I was automatically locked on. I don't know what went on there. Like, at all. That's so weird. It's so annoying as well. Andy now has his passive back up, and he's got infinite sustain, so that really has kind of messed me up. I could have killed him in that instance if my ult didn't decide to mess up like a son of a biatch. Um... I have no idea as to what went on. Was that a glitch or did I do something wrong? I don't know. I have no idea. Okay, so he's kind of constantly harassing me here. I'm not sure as to where Jarvan is. I saw him once all game, which is kind of a really, really bad thing. Now he's actually pinging to come. Uh, which isn't going to work out uh, at all, in fact. And Diana is also coming up here. OK, 
Okay, so that didn't really work out at all. I obviously knew that was going to happen. It was never going to work. I didn't have enough mana. Um, I didn't have my ult up. Diana is in the top lane, so I'm going to go ahead and go back here. Actually, I'm not going to go back. Despite the fact that I don't really have much health, I do kind of need to get my Sunfire Cape, which is going to be coming very soon here. And... Uh, there we go. Now I'm going to go back. And I will teleport straight back in here. I'm not really too sure exactly as to what's going on, but... I have actually slowed him down here. There might be the potential to actually do something. Really not too sure, but I'm going to go ahead and stun him here. I'm not too sure as to what's going on. Go! Go! There we go. That is going to be really, really well played there. Diana! I just obviously came up again after going back down. Vi, unfortunately, is chasing Jarvan, though I'm not sure if she has her ultimate or not. Yes, she does. Jarvan, unfortunately, looks like he is going to die for some reason. He doesn't have... You're not going to be able to kill him. You don't have your ultimate. Uh, it really is that simple. And there's going to be a ward place there. I'm not too sure as to why exactly. But here comes Leona. Vi is there as well. Really, really poor. I'm not too sure as to what Leona did there. And she missed all of her abilities. So, well played there, I guess, to... Um, Lissandra, I guess, to some extent, but I think it really was down to uh, Leona kind of failing that slightly. But with that being said, I'm actually going to go ahead and pick up some more armor because why not? I'm also going to go ahead and teleport top here. There we go. I should now be able to get this. There we go. Not too bad at all. I saved the turret. There's not really much that he can do. He has to be very careful here. Very careful, in fact. I do have a Sunfire Cape now. There's not really much that he can do at all here. Way too much sustain. Way too much just. Oh my god, Dan is here again. Dead already, son. Oh my god, I'm coming. That was kind of not the best thing in the world, but I'm going to go ahead and just punch him in the face. Ash's arrow is going to come up as well. Again, I don't like the fact that Diana is ganking before Lissandra. Lissandra needs to make the move, um, and I'm not too sure if I saw Diana here. But with that being said, I don't know why she's camping top. Aatrox is not really struggling too much. It's rather annoying when that happens. 3, 4, and 2 now, guys. Not really doing too well at all. I'm actually going to go ahead and get Alacrity, considering that um, movement speed, I guess, would be a bonus on Scion. Especially, I don't know if it works with his ultimate, though. Um, let's see. Uh, sign charge in a direction. Uh, slightly charging. I mean, it's all crack control. Rectorating works as sign charge early. Okay, I don't know. What? Shut down. The damage increases to 615, and the string duration increases to 1.75 seconds. That's, like, OP. Like, really OP. I'm not too sure as to what went on there. It's actually a two-for-one exchange in favour of our team. So, really well played there to the team. I'm not too sure as to what actually went on. But... Come here, bitch. There we go. Much, much damage. Much damage. Did you have her ultimate again, really? I'm so annoyed. So overpowered. Lissandra is coming up, which I guess is a bonus here. Let me go ahead and... Uh... There we go. Going to go ahead and pick up that kill there. Well played to Lissandra. Really, really nice. And that is exactly what I said. If Lissandra comes first, then we get the kill. And if Diana comes first, then they get the kill. It really is that simple. Our vision control really isn't that good. And by our, I mean me and Aatrox. Looks like we're both kind of struggling slightly here, but I'm going to go ahead and take out all of these creeps, push it to turret here, and hopefully Aatrox will lose some of that farm. With regards to the lane, we have four kills. Aatrox only has two, and we are actually at a farm advantage, so not doing too bad there, I guess. 
Um, unfortunately, though, that does look like it's a one-for-one -one exchange, as well as the fact that Diana picked up mid turret as well. So that's not too good for us. I'm actually going to go ahead and get some sort of damage, I think. Uh, what should I do with this, actually? Yes, I've got that already, so I think I'm going to go for one of these. I don't know if this is going to work very well, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to get a couple of wards as well. Head off back into the top lane here, guys. 29 seconds on my teleport. I'm not too sure as to what happened. Lissandra did actually die in the end, which is not really a good thing for our team here. I'm going to go ahead and ping that. That needs to be saved. I'm not too sure as to what is happening here. Um... Why is he not just taking the farm? No, there's no point in doing it now. He's dead. There we go. Going to go ahead and just finish that up there like that. Just dodge that W. I mean Q, whatever it is. I don't even know. Janna and Javan are both now going ham. And it looks like Diana has been caught here. And Lucian is not going to be able to actually pick up that kill. Leona, I think, is probably going to sacrifice herself here. And just put down a bit of damage here. There's not really much that he can do at the moment. He still does have so much uh, sustain there, which is obviously a problem for me. And Janna has actually picked up the kill there onto Leona, which is obviously a bonus here. And I'm going to go ahead and just pick that up like that. And there we go. We're going to push that to wave, I think. We should be able to pick up that kill there. I'm not too sure. I did have to actually burn quite a lot there. I'm not too sure as to what is happening. There we go. We are going to get the stun back off here. We should be able to pick up this kill here. There we go. Just going to dodge him up there. It is going to be GG. Just going to get the stun. Make sure that the kill is secured there. And Jarvan is going to actually go back down. Diana now is coming back into the top lane. I am backing off here. And she isn't actually going to jump into that bush there. So really, really fortunate, I guess, to some extent for us. But with that being said, we did actually come out, I guess, in favour of that. Which is, I guess, a bonus. That top tower is going to go. There really is no point in me doing that. They're going to take this. So you're going to have to push that, I guess. And Vi is in the bot lane. So there's not really much that we can do. That tower is kind of gone here. I'm going to get another point in the shield here, guys. Move into top lane now. Here comes Diana. She's not really going to do much to me though, so that's a bonus. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. You can get quite a lot of health for that. My W has now given me 442 bonus health. That is so much. But I don't really know where Aatrox or Diana is, so I'm gonna go ahead and just ward up slightly here. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Oops, my bad. I kind of cancelled that a little bit too early on accident. I didn't mean to do that. But 4, 4, and 3, guys. 16 and 16 for the team. So it's actually quite a tightly uh, sort of played game, I guess. Aatrox is going to go up and save that turret. He's not going to get any of that farm, though, I don't think, which is a bonus for me. Oh, yes, he is going to get one of them or both of them. Don't really know. But I'm going to go ahead and... Uh Gonna go ahead and put some damage down here. He's got way too much sustain. There's not really much that I can do here. Oops. Oops, I accidentally ran into the toy. <laughs> Oops. That's so hard to control. Why does the the aim go all weird? The camera goes so so weird. It's so hard and, and weird to control. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong, but um oh crap. Oh crap. Oh, I wanted that. There we go. We should be able to get most of that. I'm not sure as to what is going on down here. This is really, really poor. Really poor, in fact. I backed off already. This is going to be a very, very bad thing. It looks like he's kind of dead here. Um, I don't know why he decided to do that. It's really, really poor, in fact. I'm going to go ahead and put a ward in this bush. Um, okay. Well, that didn't really work at all. And uh, they're not going to go ahead and take that because I am here.
There we go. We are going to be able to get away from that. I thought they was actually going to go and try and do Baron. That's the reason why I stuck around there. It looked like they had vision in that tri bush. So it's a little bit unfortunate. But with that being said, Jarvan is now coming up to the top lane here. He can take that farm if he would like. I'm going to go back here and pick up one of these. And then I'm going to do something else, I guess. I'm not really too sure as to what I'm building this into. What's this do? Okay. Wait, what? Basic attacks reduce the attackers. Okay, yeah, I get it. Okay. That just got changed, didn't it, in this patch? I'm not too sure, but uh, I'm pretty sure it did. Uh, there's not really much that they can do here. I wanted that. I wanted the health, damn it. Not too sure as to what is going on here exactly, but uh, we're going to have to be very, very careful here. I have a feeling that their team fight is a lot better than ours. If Lissandra decided to use her W again then and actually stunned Leona, that probably would have been a dead Leona there. So that's a bit unfortunate that she didn't do that. But with that being said, it doesn't really matter here. I'm just going to go ahead and protect Janna slightly. going to go ahead and do this here. It's going to be kind of GG, I think. She's not really much that she can do. And she is actually going to die there. The arrow is going to come straight over the Zonyas uh, Lissandra, which is going to be really, really well played to us. And Aatrox is now coming down, which I guess is a bonus, because it means that Jarvan can just free farm that top lane. So that was a really, really good exchange for us. We did get the multiple stuns down with our ultimate, which obviously led to... Um, we're going to have to be very careful here. Aatrox is coming up I don't think I can kill Ash without my ultimate, so I be very careful about that one. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, what do I need to build this? Oh, I need a little bit more gold than that. And Ash is now moving around here. I'm not too sure as to where she is going. Bot lane is pushing in our favour, which means Ash is probably going to go down there and clear that out. And Vi is going to put a ward in this bush here. She's probably going to get hit by Vi there. I'm not too sure here. It looks like she is going to die here. Not too sure exactly as to what's going on. I'm pretty sure she's going to die here. And she's going to flash straight into Illusion. Which is going to be a bonus for us. It means we did just burn our flash as well. I'm not too sure as to exactly what is going on here. But we are actually doing pretty well in these team fights at the moment. Granted they are kind of getting a little bit caught. Rather than actually having a 5 versus 5 team fight. So I guess we'll have to look out for that one. I'm just going to go ahead and tank this up here. There we go. It's going to be an easy pick up there considering that Vi is dead. There's not really much that they can do to steal that one. I will be able to get, uh, after I get these wolves anyway, I will be able to get a Hydra. Or not Hydra rather. I will be able to get a Tiamat. Let me go ahead and clear that out. Smash him into the wall like that. Give him a big one-two chop like that. Aatrox is taking the race, which is a bit unfortunate. Red buff is up. I'm going to go ahead and come up like this. There's not really much that they can do here. And it looks like we're actually going to be able to do something here. I'm not too sure exactly. And we are going to be able to pick that one up there. It's going to be so, so easy. I don't really have too much health. It looks like... Um, you might want to go with this one. Just go. Do it. And I got stunned there. And Leona is actually going to be able to get away there. It looks like... Actually, no. Vi is going to die here. It looks like the flash is actually going to come down from Ash. So, really, really well played there. Three of them dying for zero. Scion does look like he's very, very strong here. I don't think Ash can really kill me. I will have my shield up very, very soon. We've got three seconds until Diana comes back. So, that's a bonus. And I was the one to pick up that turret here. And we will be able to potentially get this. I'm not too sure exactly as to what is happening. But we're going to have to be very, very careful here. You do want to back off. That is probably going to be a good move. There we go. We're going to go ahead and just dodge that. And Lucian is going to be able to pick up that kill here. I'm going to go ahead and slow him down slightly. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like we're going to die here. And I'm probably going to die. I don't know. This is so annoying. This is going to be a free Drake. I think he's chasing me like a son of a bitch. I'm actually going to go ahead over here like this because I don't want to get caught. OK, 
Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and punch this guy. Okay, so he does waste... Oh my god! Oh my god, die! Oh my god, really? What is he got? Oh, he's got a Randuance. Oh, now I see. Okay, my bad. Uh, I'm going to get one of these, though. If I had this, I probably would have killed him, which is a bit unfortunate. I was sitting on, like, 2,000 gold or something ridiculous like that. So, I guess that's a little bit unfortunate. 24 and 24, still very, very close. 5, 5 and 9, guys. I will reiterate the fact that this is my very first game with Scion. So, obviously, I won't be the best. And I do know I've made quite a lot of mistakes this game. But, with that being said... Uh, why is Lucian not going? Lucian is probably going to die now. That's a very, very poor move, I think. No, he's still got heal. He's still got heal. Jarvan is not going to save his life. Hello? Wow, they're still, wow, GG well played, GG well played is all I can say to that, all I can say to that is GG well played, don't do that Jana, it's Diana and Leona, Lucian cannot kill them, that's just cost us practically the game, they're going to get inhibitor off back of that, basically, Janna should not have made that play. It was really silly. Um, really silly, in fact. And that kind of led to everything. Jarvan and Lissandra both came in one versus one. And then it was like two versus four. And I teleported in to try and sort of sort something out. So I could not kill Aatrox, who was the person that I chased. Vi was one versus two and ended up actually staying alive and killing people. Not too sure as to how that even happened. But um, Lissandra and I don't know who else was left. I think it was Jarvan just could not finish off Vi, which is pitiful. Absolutely pitiful. For some reason, Jarvan, despite the fact that I said I was going tank, has gone full tank as well. Um, Jarvan. The whole point of me going tanky was that Jarvan could get some damage. But he hasn't got any damage at all. So he's very, very weak at the moment. He's not really useful to the team. He's just like a utility person. So he can, he can knock people up and use his ult and such. But he does no damage. He doesn't really tank too much either. I mean, I guess he stays alive for quite a while. But when they've got, like, Aatrox, who's built pretty tanky. And a Vi, who's always tanky as well. And he's got a blade. Why has Vi got a blade? How is Vi with a blade actually doing something? Um, we're kind of struggling now, I think. They picked up five kills, and we picked up zero in that last exchange. Granted, like, three or four of them got away with, like, 10 HP, but... Yes, that's a little bit unfortunate. I cannot kill Aatrox one on one. Uh, he's got way too much sustain. And because I'm a tank, I don't have enough damage to kill him. So that's a little bit unfortunate. But I am just now walking around. I'm actually going to go up and take this wave here. Aatrox is actually one level higher than me. I have to be a little bit careful about that one. And Ash has picked up the kill onto Jarvan. I'm not too sure as to how exactly that happened. But uh, I don't understand. Oh, wow. Well. That's GG, I think. That is GG. They can push for the win here. There's not really much they can do. The time is just way too long. It is going to be GG. They got caught at blue without warding over the wall first before going there for some reason, despite the fact that they obviously had ward control. Holy crap. Oh, it's done that hard. It is going to be GG. Though. There's nothing I can do, guys, about that. It's GG well played. Really, really poor. For some reason, they face-checked blue when they had map control. It was obviously... or There was a very high chance that they were going to be there. They needed to ward it first. It was really, really poor. So, unfortunately, they ended up throwing the game. Not really much that I can do to carry that when the team is trying to just play objectives when we're getting kind of owned. But, um... Yeah, I do hope you enjoyed, guys. If you did, be sure to subscribe by clicking the annotation underneath the continue button. Also, be sure to like and comment, guys. It does help me out a lot. And I do want suggestions, guys. If you do have uh, any suggestions at all about what champions you want me to play or, or builds or anything like that, be sure to let me know in the comments, guys. But that is going to be it. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I do hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.